Hey guys, okay, so. makeup routine don't mind my face okay my face is dry right now because I need to put moisturizer I just washed my face I had to put on the band you know to secure and I had to clip my hair so it can be on my face so I'm going in with a set of fill moisturizer I currently have oily skin your girl uses all set of food products over here like dead ass wash my face with set of fill why does the middle part not look in the middle? I swear, I, I'm not trying to clown my hairstylist or anything, but I really need my shit to be like arrogant. All right, so I'm clipping my hair. I took the band off so y'all can see that my shit is, it's melted, okay? I just don't understand like why. I really just need it in the middle. And for me, I'm just not even gonna do too much right now, bro. Okay, you got some makeup stuff in here. I don't know why the camera's a little crooked. I'm literally just trying to hold the phone while it's charging too. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys. So, I'm going in with this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's not like I'm even going anywhere, so I don't need that much. I'm just trying not to use too much because I'm used to using too much of product. So I'm really trying to teach myself that, you know, when did this happen to my makeup bag we're not gonna jump into that i actually also have another primer that i um well i was gonna say that i use but i'm not i'm obviously not gonna use it today yeah Too Faced primer um i use the laura mercier for this beat but what's under the laura mercier is moisturizing lotion also wash your face like start off with that for me i'm really gonna wash my face i'm not just gonna jump into like Oh, dang, I can see like where it's blurred. Oh, okay, okay, I like that. I'm gonna add a little more. My oily areas are usually my nose, my chin, and I guess my cheeks. <sighs> Guys, for my makeup, what I really start with is brows. I used to be a pomade girl. Now, I'm a pencil girl. Anastasia for the brows, that's all I'm gonna say. First of all, this is for perfectionists, okay? I, my makeup has to be top tier. Like, it just has to. When I'm doing my makeup, I really pay attention to detail. So, if that's not you, I would recommend clicking off, cause, Anyways, like I was saying, guys, if you want your eyebrows to be top tier, like, like I mean A1, my number one thing I recommend is go get your eyebrows threaded first. And where I go, I literally pay $3 to get my eyebrows threaded. Top tier. I think I'm going to do my brows off camera because I just can't, I just can't cope right now. So, I decided to turn on some music because I'm a little bored. As you can see, I went in with the pencil right so now i'm gonna use con con is that too loud i also don't want to get copyrighted just in case i post this i don't know we'll see la girl pro concealer in the shade suede to outline my brows i'm gonna do that off camera again because it's a process the music has stopped and right now i'm looking at my eyebrows and i don't know if it's the way i use outline the concealer i'm just not like like I said, I'm gonna continue this off camera. I just really hope my makeup comes out good. That's all I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna continue to do my thing. My eyebrows are actually fine. I think I was just chirping a little. But knowing me, I'm probably just gonna spend a little more time trying to perfect them to really get them where I want them to be. Yeah. I'll just come back when they're like fully done, like when I'm ready to go to the next step. I'm back and now I'm really feeling good because my eyebrows are kind of working out. You know, last night they were really good. I'm just trying to get through, I think, but I'm ready for the next step. Are y'all ready for the next step? Okay. 
I'm really excited now. Like, I love doing my makeup. It's my... Okay. Now it's really time to get this shit moving. Because once my eyebrows are done, I can finish my makeup. So let's just go through it. I think we should move on now. What do you guys think? They look okay. Usually for me, it's the arches. So like the... the that's what I really be focusing on. This eyebrow is like really good. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I kept saying it was time for the next step, but trust me, now we're we're moving on. This is skin tint. Yes, I know. I have two because I literally didn't know which one was my shade. I just and then I mixed, but I this one is 21 and 22. 22 is a little darker on me. 21 is kind of a little lighter. I'm not even sure. I actually shop for my makeup at Sephora. I rarely go to Ulta, but when I do, this is the Juvia's Place. I like this foundation because it's really matte. I don't really like dewy looks, so matte is really my go-to. When it comes to makeup, you really just have to find what works for you. Like, And yes, it's... it's it's gonna take some time, and it's the same thing with skincare. You can't really hop on social media and start using whatever celebrities or influencers are promoting. You can try them, I guess. If you just see that it's not working for your skin, don't try and force it when it comes to makeup and skincare. You just have to find what works for you. We're not here to talk about all of that. Let's let's get into the next step. Today we're going in with the NARS. I got it yesterday, and so this is day two of trying it, you know, feeling it. Put that all over the face. Then, I'm like out of the camera frame and you can't even see. But yeah, right now I'm just putting on uh, the foundation. The base is now, is now done. Okay, what's next? Yeah, do y'all see this? It's like really not my skin tone. Ooh, I actually don't even contour my face. I know. I do not contour but I do put um this in the middle obvious on my nose bridge obviously because um the foundation is darker than the concealer so it'll like contour itself I guess I don't know so I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender and blend 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 um I think I'm gonna add a little more because I really just want to All right, there we go. This is an e.l.f. beauty blender, got it from Target. Okay, I think I see a difference because I added more concealer. I think that's the difference that I'm seeing. Blend, 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 up, 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 snatch the face. You get it. Baking, we got this Laura Mercier powder. We got the new one. Sometimes I don't even bake. I literally just put the powder and then I just brush it. Like, cause bitch baking, what am I baking? I'm just putting on the powder. I'm sorry, this is not like super professional. It's kind of just a whatever and me also just trying to be myself as possible. I can't tell you how many times I've actually recorded so many makeup tutorials. So this time I'm just trying to have like a more natural approach instead of trying to give that influencer YouTube yeah, no. If you just really want to, I guess, do social media, not that I have experience or anything, I'm just saying, I just think you should be yourself. I think that's really just how it works because you can't do what's already being done. I also found that adding powder helps, so add powder where you get oily. I literally use the powder in the top rim. Because if y'all see the powder in the thing, oh, you can't see because my hands covered. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Wow. What a waste of powder. Just me trying to show y'all how much powder is in there. I should have brought it up close. Anyways. What am I doing? Now there's same powder everywhere. Of course. We're just having some technical difficulties. Brush your teeth before you do your makeup so that you don't have to brush your teeth while you have your makeup done. Just just a little tip. Yeah. Shit. I really like the Real Technique products or their brushes. We love them. I am so busy, y'all, that 
I'm actually kind of scared that this, th these clips or the video, yeah, these clips will sit in my cam, my camera roll forever. That's just how I am. I shouldn't affirm that into the universe. Okay, I'm not like that. I don't procrastinate. I get shit done. Period. I'm looking for one of my brushes. I can't find it. If the brows don't come out how I want them to, I was gonna say how you, but do your makeup how you want. If the, my brows don't come out how I want them to, the whole makeup is shit. Me personally. That's how I do feel. I really, really have to make sure the brow is browing so that I'm not feeling like a type of way or insecure. We're done with, um, Baking, yeah, obviously, there's no more powder on the face. Don't you just love makeup, y'all? Makeup is art. I love makeup, like, long live makeup. <laughs> when I first started using blush, it really changed my life. Did I even bake here? Yeah, no, I did. I personally love blush. It is 100% a part of my routine. Wait, my mind is blanking. I don't even know which blush I use. I have so many. Bro, got these brushes, I think from Amazon or Sheen like a long time ago. They're holding it down, yeah, but get you some real brushes. Get you some nice brushes. I really recommend real techniques. Okay, blush, warms up the face, follow the same pattern for concealer, go up, smile so you can see your cheeks. Not too much, but definitely I feel like I have to add a, not a lot, but just a little more just so you can like see the blush. Try to put a little in the nose area like that in the middle. Period. Oh my gosh, am I even showing you guys the products? I showed you the Laura Mercier powder. Yes, I did. That's what I baked with because I just baked. Why did I shake that around again? Lord. I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me blush it's in it's shade berry why is the blush not blushing for me i mean it is but it's kind of not <sighs> whatever it'll the makeup will look good in the camera that's all i can say it'll look good in the camera that i know also it has to look good in person but like i said i'm not even like going out i have a lot of highlighters actually fenty beauty trophy wife do y'all see this gold it is so pretty i also have a makeup by mario one this one's in the shade bronze Smashbox. This is an eyeshadow trio. I have had this since seventh grade. What year was that? Not seventh grade. Eighth grade. No, seventh grade. Yeah. What year was seventh grade? 2019 was 2018. I hope they did not could discontinue this product. It is called the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. I really hope they did not discontinue this product because I literally love this highlighter so much. It's not even highlighter, but I'm calling it that. Once I started using it for my highlighter, I've never looked back. I just haven't. This one right here, that's what I use for the highlighter. As you can see, the other one, the other products are literally untouched, bro. I can't believe it. Like, this is my baby, like, for real. And the fact that I've had it since seventh grade, when, like, I kind of first started getting into makeup, Period. So not too much, not too much, but definitely highlight the fucking face. Like get that glow in. Ooh. Sometimes if I'm just feeling it, I'll do the brow, but I don't really. <sighs> Maybe I just should. Ooh, that actually does look nice. Cause I don't normally do that, so that's a little different for me. It's a different look. This brush, I just use this. This is. I just use this brush to blend like the whole face. I don't even want to start looking at my brows because usually when I do that, that's when I start trying to find what's not matching, what's not what. Oh, don't forget the chin. Sometimes I'm forgetting. Dang, I'm just trying to say so many things at once. That's it guys. I am, I am actually done. I actually am done. We have this. Everyone knows that this one's really good. Well, according to TikTok, I don't know if there are any other better setting sprays out there. Let me know, cause I will go and get them. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury product that I have. Urban Decay holding it down for the girlies. This one's my mom's. This one's mine. This one is D Slick for 
it's oil control because I told y'all I have oily skin. So this is probably the one that I'm gonna use tonight. NYX, NYX products are good. Okay, this is Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. I like a matte face, so I'm not even gonna say too much. Yeah, I think tonight I'm gonna go in with this one, so make sure everything's, okay, okay, now we can set. Yeah, no, that's enough. I was about, <coughs> shouldn't have opened my mouth too quick. I was about to go in for a third spray. Yeah, guys, I, I think that's actually it. Of course, lashes, we can't forget. That's really my last step. Okay, wait, lashes is not my last step. I lied. I wore these lashes last night. These are actually from the drugstore. I don't know if they're Kiss. I think they are. There's another brand of lashes I forgot. I like the hard way. Just put the mascara first before you go on the lashes. And I think you can get it from Ulta because Sephora doesn't carry more few products. I'm going to put eyeliner on the lash band line to make it black. Here's another hack for y'all. This shit looks so much better now. I remember when I did not know how to do my brows or how to glue on my lashes. Trust the process, y'all. It takes time to learn how to really do your makeup, all that good stuff. Kiss Adhesive Lash Glue. Okay, y'all, this is officially the last step of my makeup process. Lining my lips with a chocolate, a nice chocolate dark lip liner. And you know it's gonna be NYX. NYX gonna do it for me. Lip gloss, y'all, Fenty Beauty. I guess I should just in get the Fenty Beauty um chocolate one so I can stop messing up my clear one. I swear by this Fenty lip gloss too. Glass slipper. Ugh. It's gonna do it for me every time. And that, my friends, is the finished makeup look. Look at this B. You know, you know I did that. So stop playing with me. Look at this B, y'all. Huh? Okay, but yeah, and this is with the hair clipped up. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say no shade to my hairstylist, but I really just need arrogant tape to do my hair. This is it, y'all, with the hair down. Is it giving? It's definitely giving. All right, y'all, I think that's it. What time is it? I'll just have to check the time that I started my makeup because I forgot to, to see how long this was, but. All right, I didn't think I was gonna continue, but I just wanted to update you guys. But also remember I finished my makeup at like eight something, nine, nine, nine. And it's 10.39 now, excuse me. So this is how the makeup looks still. Makeup's still on fleek. People still say that, fleek. Anyways. You can see the oil four hours into the face glue. I'm satisfied. I just wanted to update y'all and like show you like my makeup since I'm still awake. Anyways, that's it. So yeah.